Hi, I'm Gigi. And I'm Jeff. Today we're just going to take a little walk, maybe get some breakfast down in a local market or some bread or something. So come along with us. And sit out here. Oh yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. I think we'll probably have like one more week left and we'll be able to get in the water. So I think we better do it soon. It's up here. Oh, we're gonna go by that restaurant that we were talking about that Luke and Antonio recommended. So maybe we'll have to try it out. They're open for lunch apparently. And a lot of restaurants are not open for lunch. So, and we prefer to eat lunch out rather than uh, eat dinner out. But it's really, really a beautiful fall day. It's still hot. It's kind of like end of summer weather. Perfect in my book. Sunny, hot, but a little bit of crispness to the air. And wind, nice breeze. So. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> so, so this is the restaurant that Luke recommended and Antonio Osteria di Marinai. So let's go check this out. It's right next to Pistorio Street Food, which we liked. We thought the beer especially was really overpriced, but the arancini was very delicious. <laughs> Jeff's apparently gonna stay there. <laughs> I don't know if they have a menu. They weren't open for lunch, so we'll come back another time.
of the things that I found out about when I went to buy the guanciale, instead of buying it in a big chunk, um, by mistake, I asked for him to slice it. And we actually found we like it better that way. And I thought Americans could relate better because you would be using pancetta because we can't get guanciale in the United States um, or bacon and it would be more of this style. And by just chopping it up like that, I think it worked out really great. So um, after the pasta is almost done, I like to finish it right in the, the pan. So I've shut the heat off on the pan and then um, I'm gonna just put the pasta right on top and this will cool, cool everything down before we add the egg in it. So I'm just gonna put this right in here and add the water as we need it. Because if we just put the egg right into the pan, it will curdle because it's not tempered yet. So while well, we sh we've shut off the heat here and then we'll put the pasta on top, it'll cool everything down before we add the egg. And just leave your pasta water there because we'll probably be using some of it. I like to do it this way rather than dumping, uh, you know, straining it with a colander because I like the water. I like to add the water and I like to have it right handy as I need it. So I just take my time fishing, <laughs> fishing out the pasta. In the meantime, it's cooling everything down so that the egg will not curdle and make little lumps. We don't want cooked egg. So I think I got, I think I got it all. Egg. We had four eggs and one yolk, some a lot of pepper and some cheese. And I'm just going to put it right on top of the pasta and cool it. This will temper it without getting down into the pan. So I don't know if this is the correct way of doing it, but this is how I do it so that the, it doesn't cook the egg yet. All right, and well now this is how we make the sauce by just letting it heat slowly with the pasta and the guanciale and all that beautiful flavor. And then as it tempers, I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. The eggs uh, in Italy, because we leave them out on the counter, uh, we don't refrigerate them. The, uh, the white actually is a lot more watery. Um, so sometimes I have to adjust my American recipes accordingly because it ends up being too much uh, wetness to it because the, um, the white part is so watery. So I... Um, I added just the yolk of one without the white because I think it just ends up being a little too much, in my opinion. So as you see, as you're heating it, you're getting a nice thicker sauce without curdling. Egg. And it's cooking a little bit more on this side because I have such a big pan, I guess I can move this over. And I don't really need any of that pasta water because like I said, the eggs are so wet. And they have a beautiful yellow color in the yolk. So that's nice. All right, so this is how we want it. And I like to add a little bit more pepper. I like to add a lot of pepper. And I did add a little bit of red pepper too. And then on top, we'll just add a little bit more uh, parmigiano, parmigiano, or this is the Grand Padana, I'm not sure. And finito, buon appetito, carbonara.